Uh, at the Easter season, it's common uh, to read the accounts of Christ's resurrection, uh, which is the cause for the celebration of Easter itself. But I, I find that my favorite uh, Easter verse actually comes from the first epistle of John, uh, which is written some decades after the resurrection. And he begins his epistle with these words, that which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled the word of life. Uh, you know, we celebrate the resurrection because it, it signifies the potential for, or the inevitability, right, of our own eventual resurrection. But the reason I like these words from John is because they emphasize not just the gift of continuing life, but the gift of continuing embodiment and all that that means. Um, I think Christ's embodiment was important because uh, in part his ministry was so filled with physical touch, the, the human touch. And I think it's remarkable, especially in the Gospel of John, how common how pronounced this motif is that uh, he laid his hands upon those who were sick. He touched the leper. He anointed the eyes of the blind. Uh, John reclines on his bosom. He invites Thomas to, to touch his resurrected body. And he, in his resurrected form, embraced the, the weeping Mary. Um, I think the fact that his ministry was characterized by so much of touch and embrace is a reminder to us of uh, how much we should cherish our own capacity to, to touch, to minister, to heal, and to embrace the others. And I think that that's one of the, one of the great gifts of embodiment and one of the promises that the resurrection holds forth for all of us.